What's going on, everybody? I just want to get on here and uh, bring everybody back to now. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here and vibing with me for a bit. Yeah, today I just wanted to bring something to your attention that's been very helpful for me, and it's uh, kind of um, kind of an instant way to start moving in a um, more uplifting direction. And it has to do with just appreciating what's presenting itself in the present moment. <laughs> you know, it's easy to get in, in these cycles sometimes where we're projecting all of this happiness, joy, and oh, you know, what the, you made it, and you know that that moment in the future that's never real. And and it's just you know getting more into um, just appreciating and shifting maybe your thoughts if they're coming in, you know, where it's like um, you know maybe fearful or kind of experiencing what you're not. You know, use that for instant contrast in the moment to start focusing on what you appreciate about what's what's going on right now. It's like um, you know, you can sit there and start focus on what you don't like, which in a lot of ways then makes that real, and then it starts coming more and more into focus. The stuff around you starts becoming more and more um, like a cycle of what you don't want. You know, but you can instantly start to shift that as you start to uh, kind of move more in a direction of, okay, well, what am I appreciating about right now? Because it, this present moment is the only time that is, in fact, real. You know, and so it's, it's you know, one of those things where we can, you know, expand, imagine a vision for the future, not not discouraging anybody on that, but it's um, also taking a, like a, a, a serious look at what's going on in your, in your, in your life right now, uh, you know, your relationships, maybe your job, how you're spending the majority of your day, you know, how, uh, you know, what you're uh, consuming, you know, all of these things that we're just doing right now, you know, the, this is the time that we really start building and creating um, the new version of ourselves, the new life that we want to have. It's not by looking around you like, oh, you know, boo hoo. Uh, it, it's more about appreciating everything now and then growing it. You know, it's um, we're looking at what's unfolding in the moment as being the path of least resistance to the destination that you want to achieve in your desires anyway. You know, so many of us, we choose, you know, we desire all of these, um, if I only had a better job, then I could be happy. Or, um, you know, if I just had a better better house, then I could be happy. Or I had a better relationship, I had better friends, then I could be happy. You know, all of these, like, fill in the blanks that we think are going to make us happy, these extra Internal um, situations, people, events, you know, really the, you know, the grass on the other side of what you're feeling now. It's like, um, you know, really, uh, what, what do you dislike about this present moment? You know, probably you've been judging the present moment so harshly and, and like uh, focusing on what you don't want, uh, don't want, you know, in the same error, you know, start just focusing on what you do like, you know, feeling good, you know, what thoughts start feeling good, you know, with the ones that you were just experienced felt fear and what you're not, well, now all of a sudden you have an instant contrast where you can go, oh, well, um, I'd actually prefer, you know, and then start, you know, focusing on what you appreciate about what's happening. It's like, oh, the weather's nice. I appreciate the blue sky. You know, I appreciate that the seasons are changing again. I appreciate that every day is different on some level. It's never exactly the same. It's always unique. And then you start attracting on some level better feeling thoughts, better, better. And by better, it's just um, the contrast of the, the draining fear-based um, what you don't want kind of environments with, that will unconsciously start presenting themselves to you as you um, give attention to them, you know, a, a, attention that it's a real issue, that it's a real problem, you know, instead of realizing that everything's in God's control, creation's finished, and that, you know, you're blessed right now. Everything's a process of awakening. You know, you start telling yourself this new man's story, you know, not not that, you know, the the old man, you know, representing like the yellow thoughts, but, you know, the new thoughts, you know, being the replacement, you know, what feels good instead of that, you know, it's like start looking around at, at what you can appreciate. Appreciation, thankfulness, gratitude, these are all labels that we create to, to really define a state of being, a state of um, conscious awareness that is between you and God, you know, ultimately that goodness, that good... Uh, you know, that feeling after that good energy, you know, just really looking at that as you focus more on what you're appreciating, which is the good vibes that you're feeling, you know, look at that as coming into alignment of who you actually are, coming into alignment with what God's opinion is. You know, God is love. And so, you know, uh, you are blessed now and, and, and you are worthy of feeling good. You're you know, worthy of all these things. God says you're a masterpiece and that, you know, 
you know, God's abundance is all around you. And so it's like as you start really focusing on that direction versus maybe the old man would start looking, seeing what's on, um, oh, what's going on in the matrix? What's going on? Oh, let's let's focus on all the stuff we don't like and that we're afraid of and that we're going to multiply that and just start scaring ourselves and live in this downward spiral of hell. <laughs> you know, so it's like, okay, well, you can start telling yourself that and then having those experiences drawn to you like a magnet unconsciously or you can start going, oh, well, um, that resistance I feel is, is holding me at this kind of level of consciousness. But, you know, thank God that my natural design is to float like a cork in water as I just I'm still focused on my breathing and focused on the kingdom of God within and feeling after that. You know, how does that feel? You know, you start feeling that now. It's like, you know, looking at things as what's presenting in physical reality as be, being cyclical from a thought, from an, uh, an, a, a belief, an assumption from the past that's reemerging now. You know, so to make the shift into um, more gratitude, and even that's a label, you know, that feel goodness, you know, that, that positive energy that you feel that connection, that source is within you that you're connected to. And, you know, ultimately realize that the only thing you can do is really push that away. You know, so as you stop resisting and start allowing the, uh, the goodness to start to flow through you more and more so, then all of a sudden the feel goodness, the, uh, the, the, the energy that you're in starts to be projected outwards. And it's like you start drawing more of these things that you've been appreciative it's like more of those start to hit your radar. I was on a bike ride today, you know, and I was kind of just focused on, for one, I like to go on the bike rides because, um, you know, um, exercising the body, I feel like is like almost like a physical uh, meditation on some level, you know, where it's like, um, like I'd feel like some joint pain. But then, um, you know, instead of sitting there battling with the, the pain, like it's real and it's going to prevent, um, oh, you know, um, you get the thoughts of like, oh, you know, what if um, what if this hurts you? Oh, what if um, you get stranded out here? What if something bad happens? What if, uh, you know, you're just making things worse on yourself? You know, letting go of a lot of those. And, and whenever the sensation would start in the body as, you know, on, on the on the bike ride, you know, focusing the attention on, you know, that's just spirit healing that area. You know, and, and it's crazy as you don't resist that uh, and just allow and just realize that, that, you know, I'm not going to constrict the natural healing that's happening. Totally changing how you're you know, dealing with um, things that are presenting in the moment. You know, because you can look at a lot of things as being neutral like that. You know, it's like you get a you get a, a sensation. You know, the old man wants to start to, to, to drift into fear of, oh, my body's falling apart. Oh, what if I don't recover? What if it gets worse? What if I get, well, you know, what if I can't work? What if the, and then, then the, the worst case scenarios and all the shit that you don't want, you know, starts becoming um, you know, active in your consciousness. Well, you know, instead of sitting there and battling with it, you know, realize that it's just showing you, it's like, well, I don't want any of that to happen. I appreciate, you know, that I don't have to worry about how healing happens. You know, I just need to let God just do what's natural to, to the body. It's natural to be in a state of health. You know, it's natural that, that, that the body heals itself. You know, and so taking yourself out of the equation and just appreciating how simple it all is. You know, and then that starts drawing it more and more simple. You, know, you start to walk into these experiences. You know, so it's like I was on the bike ride. You know, after that momentarily beginning, you know, where, because, uh, you know, now is when faith is actually being effective. This is when you practice everything is now. You know, it's like, um, you know, so in doing that, you know, there was some resistance at first, but then just continuing to move in that direction of faith. Then all of a sudden the conscious awareness of, of pain, you know, it's like you, you start to re- release that energy. You know, it's like, well, what if it comes back? It's like, I'm not in charge of the process of healing. You know, it's all, you know, taking yourself out. You don't got to worry about it. If it comes back, you do the same thing. You allow God just to start healing that area. You start putting love into that, you know, by, you know, allowing, you know, allowing God to do these things, you know, just, you know, realizing that infinite, infinite intelligence has a process that's going on perfectly right now that doesn't really involve um, me having to, to figure it all out. You know, all I can do really is just vibe, um, 
in gratitude and appreciate what's happening that appreciate that creation is simple to 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 feel that good energy now that it more and more clarity is you know is something you, i appreciate you know i appreciate that but then all of a sudden appreciation love attention gratitude a lot of these things start to merge into one identity you know it's, it was more of a knowingness you know that you know you, you don't got to, to ask in a specific way you know god already knows what you want you know it's more it's more about letting go and understanding that um you know that kind of connection and you learn that through experience by doing by doing those things but you know it was like on that bike ride you know i started to appreciate the nature that i was seeing the squirrels and everything and then you know as you as the appreciation seed kind of gets planted the next thing you know more and more squirrels more and more like cats and stuff you know it's just it, it, same with like flowers you start to see things bud you know being appreciative that you know things are starting to come back to life well then next thing you know it's just like that appreciation leads to the seed now i'm seeing flowers and everything gardens and it's like you get drawn to experience more and more so of what you're appreciating so it's like it's the opposite of the uh the inverted cycle of just a more and more of what you don't want of like basically drifting into um like a new world order utopia a dystopian hell you know basically to realizing that now is the only time that this stuff's going on you know it's like this this future you know god's in control of everything creation's finished and we're we're moving up a vertical dimension not this horizontal linear you know that's something you learn by being still you know how now, everything that's happening now is is in the cycle this 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 flow of the old garden base you know these seeds that you planted in your consciousness of your beliefs and, and the crazy thing is as you kind of like recognize this pattern by doing um you're able to ask um ask god for for new thoughts new um new understandings and that seed gets planted and sometimes it takes you know time you know time to unfold you know because it's like you know god doesn't answer things in a simple way he, he does but it's almost like um to, to to totally grasp you know it's like if you if you hear um fear is an illusion you know what you know he, he's like what does that mean but it's like um through doing through facing that through growing your faith and then, then you're just like oh i get it through experience i understand what you're saying you know it's the same kind of flow it's like um you get you, you can kind of drop these seeds that you know of knowledge and it's like sometimes it unfolds in multiple layers of complexity and simplicity a lot of times more simplicity as you know a lot of what we create is the complexity <laughs> you know and the convolution and the uh and the um, confusion that results from now you know and but a lot of it's like um you know just just learning a new way to do it you know but like i just wanted to bring that to you guys as awareness just to help shift a mood you know if you um you know, possibly are you know maybe in a state where you're experiencing what you don't like or you get maybe in these thoughts of um you know that that are triggering something you know the contrast of what you aren't you know but you think of it like you know a faucet you know where it's like you, you, what you don't want maybe is like cold water you know what you do want is hot water you know it's like oh okay well you, you come into the house and then you without looking you know you turn the faucet on and it's like it's cold and it's like oh that's what i don't like you know instead of sitting there like wondering why god just made the water cold and you know am i being punished because i want i desired the hot water but I've, i reached in here and it was cold you know and, and it's making this whole story that we tell ourselves of why the water's cold you know versus just turning the hot water on and even in that process sometimes where you put your hand in the hot water it takes a second or two or, you know however long for like the warm water to cycle through your pipes you know so it's like you know realize that you know if you get presented with what you don't like i mean a lot of times in a thought first you know that you know what doesn't feel good that fear well instead of sitting there battling and wrestling with the cold water you know just turn you realize you have a choice to just use the hot water that's right next to it and just sit in faith while it goes from cold to hot you know that's what we're doing we're, we're sitting we're battling to stay at rest as the salvation of you know moving from being a slave to free 
plays out, you know, in front of your own eyes. You get to watch the salvation of the Lord, and, you know, and, and watch these things be drawn to you. What you do want start to come to you as you kind of understand this flow more and more so each day. You know, but, you know, the answers are within, so that's how you figure these things out for, for yourself, you know. Um, ask God. Ask God to show you. God is within you, you know, and your connection to God is within. So anything outside of you, like even myself, you know, I'm, I'm speaking as a as a perspective, you know, that has my own kind of um, interpretation of reality. It doesn't mean it has to be exactly the way you think. Far from it. I think we're all unique and have a unique perspective to offer. And, um, you know, we should celebrate the uniqueness, you know, because um, it just is more and more, you know, different ways we can experience and find joy and fun and um, explore the new reality that we find ourselves in, you know, and and really what that means. And yeah, you know, we're doing it as a collective. And so, you know, not to sit there and, uh, you know, yeah, sit in in cycles of fear and stuff. You know, it's all about right now and, you know, working on your connection with God and growing your faith and all things being possible, you know. And so any of these things that are causing resistance to recognize it for what it is, you know, and, and realize that God has, has given you the desires of your heart already. You, know, you just need to stop resisting them and allow them to come to you. And you start doing that by moving your direction, what you do like, what you appreciate. You know, what, what do you like right now? What can you appreciate in the moment right now? And start shifting now, you know. And so, you know, realize you're planting seeds that will come cycle back into the present. But it's not your, you don't got to worry when that's going to happen. You know, part of that is just, now what well, now what's you know just sprouted oh now what's going on oh i like that oh that's neat and it, it just changes your perspective on what's going on in your reality into your perception of reality uh, reality at least but you know with that being said i gotta bounce i gotta pick up my uh, stepdaughter from dance <laughs> but um you know i like to wrap it up with a quote-unquote random bible verse for i do um There we go. Uh, nothing's random. God's 100% in control and literally, and it speaks to us in the moment. And um, I just want to give God a chance to speak to you who's ever listening now. Let's see what God's got to say. Mark 9:42. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea. Well, there you go. You know, and with that being said, you know, I appreciate you guys liking, sharing, subscribing, um, all the so- social networking things. Um, yeah, I appreciate your attention for this long. I appreciate your support to um, try to um, respond to you guys in, in the comments and stuff. I just sometimes get a little bit over um, overwhelmed with things to do, and so you know, if that's not a possibility, I do, uh, you know, try to um, do the best I can. And so. Uh, With that being said, um, thanks everybody. Have a good rest of your now and God bless.